what have I been doing for the last 10 weeks or something like that? Is it 10 weeks or something like that? Um, you might ask me what I've been doing. Oh, wh what have you been doing with yourself? I've been on tour for a few weeks. Did you have an album out? Yeah, I did have an album out and it's, it's been really... <sighs> Fuck off, but... I'm trying to get rid of that. See that thing on my head? That's like a bit of cancer, isn't it? Well, not cancer. And, um, oh, yeah, yeah. We, we got to number three, which was really good. It was brilliant. And it's, it's still in the top 30. It is the top 30. It is the top 30, in my opinion. Um, now, it's 23 or 22. So it's done really well. And the, and the single DIY did well. And the tour was a brilliant laugh. Where was your favourite part of the tour? They were they were all my favourites, Matt. Yeah. Um well Belfast was brilliant again. And apparently, yeah. Yeah, that was brilliant. Dublin was brilliant. Hull was really good. Birmingham was really, really good actually. Birmingham really surprised me. It was a Saturday night, I think a Friday or Saturday night, but um they were all good. Manchester was good, uh, London. I can't remember any bad ones, really. There would have been a bad one. Uh, Newcastle was was good, there, but there was some really Leeds, 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 Leeds was good, was it? Well, there were noises apparently. At the bar. Oh, no, there were noises at the bar. Uh, no, Leeds was Leeds was all right. There was just a couple of dickheads at the front. Well, one. Do we know it? Probably. Um, they were mates of Chris Wise, the bassist. Ah. <laughs> um, new single coming out. New single, Molding the Fall coming out. No, it was brilliant. The um, the tour. What was, I'll tell you what I did like, stay there a second, was the, the thing, the, your preparation for this interview is fantastic. Yes, it is, sorry, I should have brought them with me. But on stage, obviously, there was the tater thing, which I, how is it, this is the Northern Irish bag, and this is the, uh, the Irish bag. And on stage in Dublin, I was asking them about the difference, and when I brought this one out, they booed it. <laughs> <laughs> it was absolutely brilliant. I, I mean, you know, talk about a divided country. You can imagine, you know, like after you years and years, you know, in 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 hopefully, you know, a land of peace, that they still won't touch each other's crisps at a buffet. Um, <laughs> I, 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 I know you shouldn't laugh at divisions, but that was it. it, it so I, I, I won't tell you the true history of the crisps, but this one was the the, uh, the Irish one was I think um, uh, a couple of years before the the um, the Northern Irish one. Test. I won't go into the. I have done a taste test and I, I, I don't say I don't say I could be attacked. Um, but I'll do a taste test maybe next week. But uh, obviously, if I didn't like a particular bag, it wouldn't be for any sort of prejudice. It would just be purely. On taste. Um, other than that, yeah, low, just a really good. I, I took my kids for the first time. Um, well, my two oldest daughters, Maisie and Fran, and um, particularly Maisie, she turned around to me after the Manchester gig and she said, "Oh, my jaw's aching through smiling so much." And I think she'd never really got what I did before, really, because I've never really pushed it, you know, to, to say what I did. But now she's really. She really enjoyed it. Fan, I think, enjoyed it um, as well. But it was nice seeing her sort of being so proud, really, because I've never really seen her. And your mum was there too? My mum was there, yeah, 84. She is now. And she was at, um, at, the, show, at the after show being very... Um, she got hold of the keyboard player, Stephen, and uh, gave him a big cuddle and said he was brilliant. And Yeah, she enjoyed that. And saw my brother as well, a couple, and... Um, no, it was good. I, obviously, I wasn't drinking for the whole tour, um, which, which I mean, um, and uh, that comp I, I was a little bit scared that I might be a bit of a bore. I wasn't scared that I was going to be bored myself. So I just give myself, instead of stopping at pubs, we started stopping at football grounds, and we stopped at Airdrie's at um, Queen of the South, and an athletic, when we got over to Ireland, uh, we went in the north, we went to Cliftonville and Crusaders, and we, want, we went to uh, Shelburne when we went to Dublin. So we had a, br Shelburne and Home Farm actually. Um, so we had a brilliant time, we were let on the pitch everywhere, or they, we were op they opened the place up just, um, and I put them on the guest list at Cliftonville and Crusaders, 
yeah, it's just brilliant. Really, really friendly, friendly um, atmosphere on the whole tour. And, we're, and there was a real genuine level of affection, I thought, yes. you know, like, from people yeah. towards it. Was, it was very, very yeah. good. Yeah. And yeah, uh, was back out again in November and December? Yeah, back out again in November and December, as you're out here playing bigger gigs. For, for Cardiff, just basically for people in Wales. Yeah, no, we're out in other places. We're, we're, we're playing a few other places, but I can't be bothered to tell you. Um, um, I'm going to have to have an operation. People might have seen that I was struggling with my shoulder on tour. I didn't realise it was as bad as it was, but it was a frozen shoulder, uh, which apparently is painful, but it has been painful. Uh, so I'm going for an operation. I got weirdly mixed up at the uh, the place because obviously I won't go private. But they're saying, "Oh, you're going to be treated like an NH pa NHS patient in a private hospital." I said, "I don't." So I've had to go back and say, "I don't want to go e even go in a private hospital, really." And um, so I think the NHS has to pay the price. So I've got to wait a little bit longer. So if I'm still complaining uh, about this on November December, it means I'm. Um, through my own stupid. If anybody would like to rub your shoulder, should they just email in? Yeah, she'd like to. Uh, as, actually, uh, as you say that, it's starting to spread elsewhere. It seems to be going, <laughs> seems to be going strangely south. Um, yeah, I'm getting lots of aches and pains now. As your as your emails and letters come in, I seem to be aching all over. As Elvis Presley once song. <laughs> I might have that slightly wrong. Um, uh, other than that, I've. Been offered, I've only been offered some work that I, 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 I'm not sure whether I should do, and you think I should do it? Yes, I, I, I sort of have to. I've been offered the um, to go on the national lottery, which obviously, as a socialist, is, is a bit of a weird thing, but I, I really have to sort of protect the others' jobs, really, because I want you know, the, the, this, this album selling is how they're paid. Um, and plus, it's the national lottery. It's a national. What, what's that though? I don't really understand it. I've never had a go at it. It's good. It's good. Rob Ray plays a lot, right? Isn't it? No, he plays scratch cards. Rob Ray is disgrace. Um, <laughs> he is a disgrace, actually, but in a good way, um, as we all are. Uh, no, I don't know. I don't think he's very. I don't think. I don't see, see it a good thing me going on there. But um, I, I, I'm not in control of uh, the process, am I? I'm not. No. I'm not. Uh, I don't, I'm employed by people, and if I'm, uh, and I'm employed by Virgin EMI, who are a brilliant company so far for me to work with. Obviously, they've got probably different interests around the globe, as I'm sure they have. I'm sure, I'm sure, I'm sure we know they have. But are you talking about someone in particular? No, I'm talking about. Aren't they involved in? Anyway, I better not go too far. On this aren't they involved in torturing little kids? In um, in in. No, they're not. Um, so it was a bit of a conundrum, really, but I shall do go on there and I shall um, participate. I've been on other things that are, that are not really. Spinning really... plates on Paul O'Grady. Spinning plates on Paul O'Grady was brilliant. Um, I'm going to write a song about it, um, about plate spinning, because uh, it's it's something I use for something else. Um, what else have I been on telly? What, what else have I been on telly? The one show. The one show, one show, brilliant. Uh, I really like the one show anyway. Although I've got into the habit of watching Emmerdale recently. I know it's good. Yeah, it, it's good, isn't it? Emmerdale is really you good. Get on I like it because I'm not one of these people. Alan Carr, yeah, that'd be good. I'm not one of these people who's got one of these things where you can freeze time and then go over and watch the other side. I've got to make a big gamble at seven o'clock. Yeah, He's looking at my remote. <laughs> my, yeah, I'm, a, I'm more old fashioned. Um, one minute left. Um, so yeah, that's what thanks I've been for your doing. Support. What? Thanks for the support. Yeah, from the Yeah, I, I did thank people on stage. It's become um, quite touching, really. Uh, this support. I mean, I understand people. You know, like people will only follow what they hear in a way. You know, people. Um, you can't buy records if you don't hear them out. But. Um, yeah, thank you for for those who've heard and those who've bought, and particularly the, the tickets. Thank you for that level of affection. It's been really, really nice. Quite touching. I was almost moved to tears at one point at one particular gig. But um, so thank you, everybody, and uh, we'll see you in November and December. I'm going to do something else now. I'm talking about something else. But till then, goodbye. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.
Uh, you sound like evil in the background. That was good. Well, someone on Facebook said the guy behind you sounds like Muttley. Muttley, no. Uh, right, so we need to. <coughs> that was good. National Lottery. We should stop recording.